hey guys so just install the mac os sonoma on the m1 macbook air and it's been quite exciting to see some new features and i'm going to talk about all of that i've just used it for about an hour so it's just going to be that first impression video talking about some important features so don't forget to like this video guys let's begin so if you want to try this out just go into the settings and software updates enable the beta updates here and you should see the software update for the mac os sonoma developer beta and this is what you can install however i do not recommend this at this point this is too early there could be a lot of bugs and stuff so anyway moving on so the first thing that i really loved is the look of the lock screen look at the clock and uh, the placement for login and stuff it looks pretty cool i would say the transition also looks pretty slick i would say as you can see here also another coolest thing that i have found is the wallpapers i mean the lock screen wallpapers so let me just show you a few of them here you can see there are uh, different genres however i have downloaded a couple of them so once you apply this it looks really really cool for example let me just get to the lock screen here so you will see this animated thing going on and it looks really dope i would say guys in reality once you unlock it the animation keeps on going for a bit and that looks pretty cool as well so let me also show you a couple of other wallpapers and in terms of animation it could be a little smoother however this is a first beta so we can expect improvements as well and you can see this is another one and all of them look pretty cool guys and this is kind of really really addictive i would say so the another cool thing is the widgets i have never really used widgets on mac before but with this one let me just quickly add some uh, widgets to the desktop and actually this is quite useful like iphone or ipads i mean you can see here for example these are live and dynamic as you can see when i open my airpods it does indeed show the live updates as to what's happening so the same goes with the other widgets as well they are interactive and stuff so another cool update is uh, with the safari so now you have the profiles so for example if i go into the safari settings you can see the profiles page here i can add uh, different profiles uh, for a different sort of uh, workflow as you can see here uh, i have created different uh, workflows so it basically separates all the cache browsing history and all the stuff so they have improved uh, the private browsing and stuff which i'm not covering here also another little nifty thing is you can add any website or bookmark to your doc uh, so it works like a web apps for your quick access as you can see i have the apple website and i can simply add this to doc so i can open this whenever i want for quick access so that's that another little thing is the siri now you don't have to say hey siri every time you can simply say siri and it activates siri and as you can see it works quite well as well now there are so many other improvements that i cannot really cover in this video because i did not intend to as i just made this video within an hour of uh, installing this so anyway that's been it for this quick video guys thanks for watching i'll see you soon